Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Texas Today. I'm Jasmine Caldwell. Here's your top four at 430. A Texas community torn to pieces after a deadly tornado rips through the city. Cleanup efforts underway right now for thousands in the panhandle. And six puppies have been rescued in Waco after they were found duct tape in a box and left on the side of the road. How you can help these pups on their road to recovery. Plus a major breakthrough in the fight against brain cancer. There's a new vaccine in the works that's already saving lives. Plus this. Yep. That is remote workers doing everything but working these days. Wait until you hear what they are admitting to doing on the job. All that and more coming up. But first, Jordan Frazier is the hardest working man in the weather right now. Jordan, this heat is no joke. An excessive heat warning just went into effect. Is that right? Yes, so I told you that the heat advisory would be extended, so I'm partially right and partially wrong. Yes, it was extended, especially now to our far western counties, but Central Texas got an upgrade to the excessive heat warning. That's going to stay in effect until 8 o'clock tomorrow night, and what that means is that our heat index values are going to get up to about 117 degrees. Here's a look at 4 o'clock for tonight. Uh, 116 is what it's going to feel like in Temple, 113 in Waco, 117 in Colleen. Now, right now, it's not too bad. Of course, this is the coldest time of the day. 79 as you're waking up in downtown Temple feels like 83 with that humidity. And well, yeah, humidity just went up to 100%. It, it is as humid as it's going to get. Feels like temperatures right now. Some places are waking up and it feels even hotter. Gatesville, Hamilton up to 88. Hillsboro at 93. College Station at 92. Too. It is certainly toasty out there. It's only going to get hotter, guys. We are going to see some mostly cloudy skies kind of starting off the morning. This clears up a little bit, and when it clears up, yeah, triple digit temperatures. This wouldn't be the first day we hit that last weekend, but it's going to be hot, guys. So definitely stay cool the best way that you can. Jasmine.